Now we're going to take the terms we just learned regarding borders and boundaries and apply them to Indiana. First off, we have a physical boundary to our south, and that would be the Ohio River, which forms our border between Indiana and Kentucky. But we also have a physical boundary over here on the southwestern part, and that's the Wabash River. And the Wabash River comes through there, uh, something like that. Uh, so there's the Wabash River. So we have two physical boundaries uh, there. However, the rest of Indiana, we can see as geometric boundaries, geometric shapes. And so let's first off go over to the eastern boundary try to explain how that formed. First off, we have to understand the Great Miami River and where it flows into the Ohio River. And at that point, that is where, it, or we could call that the southeastern corner of Indiana. And so go ahead and put a dot there where the uh, Great Miami River meets the Ohio, and then that forms the Extreme, take us straight up, that forms the eastern boundary of Indiana with Ohio. Now go over to the western side. What we have to understand is the city of prominence way back when was Vincennes. No, not that prominent anymore, uh, but historically definitely was. Uh, so we go back to the late 1700s, definitely a city uh, that mattered. And so directly north of that is what forms our border with uh, Illinois. But once we get to the, uh, to the Wabash, we cross the Wabash, then it becomes a straight line all the way up. And so that just has to do with the fact that Vincennes had importance, had cloud in its time, and so just going straight north, that's our western boundary. Now our northern boundary, a bit interesting. And so we originally it was decided that it would be from the southern tip of Lake Michigan all the way across to Lake Erie. However, we can tell that that's not the case. And so what ended up happening in the late 1700s, Indiana and uh, its uh, government actually lobbied for 10 more miles uh, north so that they could then get more access to Lake Michigan. And so Indiana's border is actually 10 miles north of that line. That is the southern tip of, of Lake Michigan. And that's also, we could have a more economic, uh, but also a transportation advantage as far as, as, far as having a port there on Lake Michigan.